them and follow them and destroy every single one of them that went for that operation. None of them survived. None of them will survive. And more of that is going to happen in time to come. They think it's just by using a more tank and begin to parade around and begin to throw bombs everywhere and begin to throw, throw grenades. Something greater than that is going to happen. Let them continue their framework. They have succeeded in buying every organization in the world. The caliphate have, that is why you see Nigeria bankrupt. Nigeria is bankrupt today. They don't have money today because they have used their money to bribe and purchase every single body you can think of in the world. They have been bribed and bought over. That is why Nigeria is stranded today. Amnesty International can no longer speak. They have been bribed. Amnesty International have been bought over. United Nations have been bought over. They are in Nigeria, but they can't do anything. They have been bought over. All the high commissions are under their payroll. That is why even the Amnesty International is the United Nations. They visited to Nigeria. They visited. When they visited with all the protests we are doing all over the world, with all the protests, with all the things we are saying on media, yet they visited. United Nations visited. They didn't go to Biafra land to see what is going on. ICC came. They didn't go to Biafra land to see what is going on. They didn't go to Biafra land to see what is going on. They were parading in Abuja and the north. That is to show you the conspiracy, the rate of bribery Nigerian government is involved in. This is why they are by bankrupt. And they will never ever survive, survive from that bankruptcy. They will never ever, they will continue to waste that amount until there will be no money to fund anything again. The contraption called Nigeria, they will continue to borrow until there will be no more to borrow. There will be no country to borrow the money in. There will no more be any country to borrow the money. They will continue to perpetrate their evil, continue to sponsor their evil, continue to buy people until this their bankruptcy will go to the extent that they will not even have money to pay their workers. That is where he's heading to. Whoever God has lifted up, he cannot bring down. It doesn't matter how you try. It doesn't matter how you try. It doesn't matter how strong you think you are. It doesn't matter how strong you think you are. Every day you see them bringing one black male or the other, bringing one propaganda or the other against Biafran people. One black male or the other. Today you see the black male they have brought. I said it that this year, 2022, every single thing you can think of is going to increase. Deaths will increase. Black male will increase. Distraction will increase. Sabotuary will increase. Betrayal will increase. Everything you think of will increase. And those of us who are Biafra, what are we supposed to do? We are supposed to increase in our own effort, intensify in our own effort. Intensify in our own effort. Anything you are doing, increase in your own effort. But surprisingly, people who we are expecting to begin to speak up and say something to them, go to their platform, they are talking rubbish. You go to their platform, they are busy causing, causing sectionalism. Go to their platform, they are busy preaching tribalism. People who are supposed to be talking about the freedom of Biafra people. Who are supposed to be standing and debunking all this evil. People who are supposed to be debunking all this evil. Go to their platform. They are busy preaching regionalism. Preaching sentiment. Preaching their own tribal sentiment. Tribal hatred. Division. That's what they are preaching. Something that Mazen Nan, they cannot have laid a foundation. People go to their platform. Is it that they are talking against Ibo this, this, Ibo did this, Ibo did that? Instead of them using that time to talk about the evil that this the black male against the Biafran people, they will never talk about the black male. But they are busy pushing lies, pushing hatred. That is, go to the platforms. Why the caliphate is busy? Caliphate is busy bringing out different kinds of platform, different kind of propaganda, different kind of agenda against Biafra people. Instead of we Biafrans to come together and begin to debunk that thing and begin to look for strategies on how to follow the whole issue. People are busy demonizing one tribe or the other. You are busy telling me how Igbo people are betrayed. You are busy fighting against Simon Eber. You are busy fighting one person or the other. You are busy talking about irrelevant things, pushing agenda that has nothing to do, has nothing to offer. Instead of you to focus, instead of you to focus and speak up, defend yourself at this time around. They are not doing it. 
It is so sad. You see the kind of blackmail. You see how prepared the caliphate are. They are not looking back. That is one thing. That is different. The consistency of the caliphate. If we Bia France can hold the kind of consistency these caliphate people are using, this contraption, this full anime, the kind of consistency they are using. From the time of Othman Danfodio, they are pursuing to dip their Quran into the Atlantic Ocean and they have never stopped. They have never stopped one day. From Othman Danfodio, Ahmad Obele came and took over. Buhari is there today, pushing the same single agenda, consistency. But you, come on to ask for Biafra, demand for Biafra. You can't be consistent in Biafra. Today you begin to look for another name to use. You want to look for a name that will be comfortable for you. Instead of you to focus, be consistent in your own demand. Today, one division, one section or the other. Is either today you are creating a different name or you are trying to create one organization. You are creating one thing or the other for you. Stand on that single platform. Be consistent on your demand for the restoration of Biafra. You cannot. How I wish we can have the kind of consistency the Fulani Caliphate have. One single assignment. Othman Danfodio. From origin, entered Nigeria and gave them another assignment. Deep the Quran into the Atlantic Ocean. One assignment for every Fulani man. And they are still following that assignment. With consistency, consistently pursuing that agenda at all time. But for you, Biafra that have existed, a country that have existed, fought war against the world for three good years. Survived war against the whole world, fought against the whole world for three good years and survived it. We are trying to restore that country. For you to be consistent to begin to demand for your restoration is too hard for you. You are no longer comfortable with the name. You're, some of you, you are only comfortable when you change the name. All of a sudden, you are bringing tribe into it. You are bringing tribe into it. You are bringing tribe. You are giving it a name. You want to tribalize it, that name. You, know? you are trying by all means possible to make sure that you destroy that name. That very assignment you want to destroy by all means. That is why you are trying to attach tribe to the struggle. You have tribalized the struggle. Go and look at their platform. You go to so many platforms. People who claim to be fighting for freedom with their own brother. Today, they will stand and tell you that they don't trust their brother. They will tell you how they hate their brother. When you see the kind of hatred that is coming from their mouth, the way they speak, the kind of hatred that is coming from them, you'll be wondering, are these people for real? Are they for real? And after all those yabbing and yabbing and yabbing, you see them, they'll be mentioning Mazen Nandekan. I'm a follower of Mazen Nandekan. Mazen Nandekan is our leader. Mazen Nandekan is our leader. Mazen Nandekan is your leader, but you cannot be able to follow the footsteps of Mazen Nandekan. Mazen Nanakan is your leader, but you cannot be able to build on the foundation Mazen Nanakan have led. You can't follow it. Mazen Nanakan is your leader, but you know that Mazen Nanakan have said is either Biafra or death. And he has been consistent with it. Mazen Nanakan is your leader. You know that Mazen Nanakan was arrested. He was, Mazen Nanakan was kidnapped because he's standing for Biafra. And up to today, Mazen Nanakan is still standing for Biafra, defending Biafra. Mazen Nanakan today is facing the court as a Biafra. You claim to be a flow of Mazen Nanakan, but you cannot be able to be consistent on that demand, building on that platform that Mazen Nanakan has given you. Demand for Biafra restoration. Demand for Biafra restoration is not enough for you. You want to get a name that will suit you. You want to generate a name that will suit you. And it's only on that name you can be able to speak about Biafra. Anybody that doesn't pursue that same name, anybody that doesn't, doesn't follow you, is no longer a friend. He becomes an enemy. It's either you say the person has taken money, or you say the person has been bought over. Simply because the person has refused to use your own language. Even when the person is not attacking you, nobody is forcing you to bear. You can answer any name you want. After all, people are being born. People, when parents give birth to children, they give the name. When the children grow up, they can change their name. You can change your name to anything you want to change your name. But why must you hate another person because the person refused to adopt that name you are given him? Why? Why must you have to develop hatred? Simply because a name that is not original, a name that you brought up, you want people to drop their original name and take that one 
you are preaching to be the good one. They refuse and say they want to maintain it. Then you pick offense. You begin to label them on what kind of evil. Begin to blackmail them. Begin to blackmail them. Tell all of lies against them. How is that? How is that freedom fighting? While you are doing that, the caliphate is busy strategizing. They are busy strategizing. Look at the kind of blackmail they are presenting in Biafra now. Look at the kind of blackmail they are presenting in Biafra now. The imposter in Asura who was in Enugu, he went to Enugu, he was talking about it. He mentioned it. He mentioned it. And he is blaming it on the agitation. Even when they know that they are the ones that planned all those evil, they are the ones that planned it. The enemy that we are up against is not just a, it's not just a, it's not just a joking. They are not joking. They are ready to take anybody out at any time. The enemy that we are up against, they are ready to take out anybody at any time. They are not joking. They are not playing around. They are not playing around. The enemy you are up against is not playing around. Anybody that stands on their way, they are ready to take him out. They will even kill their own. They will take the life of their own children, their own brothers and sisters, in order to demonize IPOB, in order to demonize the ESN. That is how serious they are. But for you that is fighting your freedom, how serious are you? Come on to sit at home. You need to be begged. Somebody have to beg you before you sit at home. Come on, sit at home. You need to. You have to wait for people to beg you before you sit at home. Even though when you, when you know that the sit at home is for your own benefit, it will secure your life. It will make your voice heard. It will make bring your own opinion to the world. It will make the world know what you're feeling. It is going to benefit you in so many ways. Yet, you want to be begged before you sit at home. Then when you disobey the sit at home and you come out, something happened to you, you begin to blame the agitation. As if you are not warm. This is a lesson for every single Biafra, mainly people in Biafra land. If the caliphate can go to the extent of killing their own, a man and woman that is serving them in uniform, they behead them in order to frame up IPOB. They went and behead a man, a couple, a military couple. The DSS and co, with their unknown government, went and beheaded them to frame up IPOB and the Biafra struggle, not to find a means to destroy Biafra. If they can do that, you think they will spare you? Do you think they will spare you? They will not spare you. They will never, ever spare you. That is why you have to wake up. Wake up from your sleep. Wake up from your sleep. If you're not doing anything, start doing something. Start doing something. If you know that role you are supposed to play as a Biafra, Start playing that role now. If you are involved in the sit at home, sit at home more than ever. Involved in it. Economic sanction. Anyone you can participate, go ahead and participate in it. If you can pray, add fasting to your prayer. If you're a broadcaster, focus on your broadcast. If you're a broadcaster, focus, focus, focus. This is the time for you to be more serious. Debunk every lie that you, they are doing all these things to be able to paint the struggle, to make it. They want by all means to make the world see the South is at a place where terrorists exist. But it is clear, very much clear, that the South East is never a den for the terrorists. There is no terrorist in the South East. The only terrorists we have in the South East are the military. The danger with the military. They are the ones we have in the South East. And it's not a lie, it's not a propaganda. It is clear, very, very clear. The elites in Biafra land, they know about that. The governors know about that. If, in fact, governors have confessed to it, they have confessed to it. The unknown government we are talking about, they are politically motivated. And when you hear that something is politically motivated, it means that it is government. Who are the politicians? They are the government. Who are in policy? They are the government. You see them today coming out in line. Bunch of criminals. People who are supposed to be in jail, they are the people coming out today to contest for presidency. Every single one of them majority of them that are coming out the majority of them that are coming out for president Igbo presidency and whatever go, they are people who are supposed to be in jail every single one of them is coming out for presidency both from the north from the south from everywhere people who are supposed to be in jail and 
yet you will see somebody will come out and begin to hit his chest to call him herself a Nigerian. You call yourself a Nigerian. It is high time we wake up. Stop this distraction. Stop this distraction. This message mainly goes to the, 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 the broadcasters. Stop this distraction. Don't get distracted. Stop distracting yourself. The broadcast. So if you think you are distracting someone else, you are not distracting. You are actually distracting yourself and destroying yourself. As far as I have seen, Simon Epa is still online, doing what he's supposed to do. And the more you are delaying him from broadcasting, spending the time he has to spend to talk to people and talk about you, you are actually delaying your own, you are destroying yourself and you are delaying your own freedom. You are delaying your own freedom. Because he is doing what he's supposed to do. I have not seen him derail an inch. Any day I see him saying something that is not normal, of course I will talk about it. Talking about it doesn't mean that I will come and begin to demonize him or begin to blackmail him and begin to tell lie about him. If I have any information, if I have something he has said I don't like, I will address that at like this very particular topic that he discussed. I don't like it and we'll go on, move on. If there is any topic that Simon has discussed on his platform that I'm not comfortable with, I will come to my own platform and say that this particular topic he discussed, I don't like it. I don't like the way he addresses it. I don't want it. And it ends there. I'm not going to go ahead and begin to demonize him and say he has taken money, say he has done this, he has done this, he has taken money, he has betrayed. He has that is arrant nonsense. It's a distraction. That is a distraction. Nobody knows it all. Nobody's, been, and nobody's above mistake. Nobody knows it all and nobody's above mistake. Anybody can make mistake at any given time. But the difference is that when you make mistake and you realize you have made mistake, you take corrections. That is why you must have to be a good listener if you must be a good leader. Our Supreme Amazon Nandekano is a good listener. I have seen Mazin Nandekano in most of his brokers where people will call in. I saw where somebody called in in one of his answer, question and answer programs. Somebody called in and he was talking and speaking against Mazin Nandekano. He was speaking against everything that Mazin Nandekano stands for. Mazin Nandekano did not shut down on him. He did not fight him. He did not attack him. He did not abuse him. He allowed him to say everything he wants to say. After saying, Mazin Nandekano began to lecture him, ask him one question to the other, lecture him. And at the end of the day, before the man left that phone call, he was a changed person. His tone changed. He tone changed. He at least he agreed that he's going to give Mazin Nandekano a benefit of the doubt. That is a listening leader. When you are doing something and your people, you see the majority of the people that are following you are not comfortable with what you are doing, you change from that. When you are broadcasting, you are broadcasting, you look at your comment section, you see that 80% of the people in your comment section do not want what they are, they are not in support of what you are saying. 80% are not in support of what even 70% are not in support of what you better change that topic. Go and think again. Go and think again. There are a lot of people that have common sense. We know there are people who will come to comment session to come and distract you. People who will come and support evil intentionally to distract you. But when you are having a program, after having a program, you go through your comment session and you see that 80% of the people on your comment session are condemning the thing you are doing. They are condemning what you are saying. You need a change. Even 50%. When you see that 50%, 50%, even 50-50, you see that 50% of the people who are commenting on your program are talking against that very topic you are saying. They are, they are not standing with you. You have to go and check yourself again. You are saying something. You say you are saying the truth. I'm saying the truth. I will not lie. I'm saying the truth. I will propagate the truth. I will not lie. Even while you are saying the truth, you go through your comment section. Then you see what people are saying. You see that 50% of the people are not with you. You have to go back and think again before you proceed something must be wrong somewhere something definitely must be wrong but what do we see today we see today a bunch of people who have sold their soul to the enemy people who have sold their soul to the enemy you have sold your soul to the devil that is why even when people when you see that the people are not with you anymore when you see that people are not with you anymore you can't have a change of heart you can't even pause for a minute and think what have i done wrong think for a minute am i getting this right am i getting this thing right 
think again and again. You wouldn't do that because your conscience is dead. Your conscience is dead. But if your conscience is still working, when you are passing that information, you are broadcasting on your broadcast. After the broadcast, you go to your comment section, you see that 50% of the people commenting there do not support what you are saying. They are not with you. What do you have to do? You have to have a change of heart. Think again. Go back and think and think again. But you see some people who don't have conscience, they will continue to push that lie, push that falsehood, push false information, continue to distract people while we have important things to do. Today you can see that the caliphate, the ginger weed are intensifying in their blackmail. They are increasing. Their blackmail is increasing every day. And why are they doing it? The reason why they are bringing out the blackmail is because already you know that the case of Muhammad Buhari is an ICC. The International Criminal Court are already handling the case of Muhammad Buhari and Nigeria. The evil they are committing against Biafran people is already in ICC. And in order to destroy that case, what they are going to do is to make sure that they create a scenario where the Biafran land will look like a place where terrorists exist. And that is what they are doing. They want to demonize IPOB to make them a terrorist group. But we know that IPOB are not terrorists. ESN are not terrorists. We know them. We see them. They are not. And when we do something, we don't deny it. Biafrans, we are brave people. We fought a war for three good years against the world. We don't deny what we do. We know the people who had the footprint of beheading people. The people that had that footprint are the Fulani Caliphate and their foot soldiers. The Fulani terrorists, they are the ones. They do it on video. They have done it in several places. Is it today you see it? Is it the one you have to paint it to paint it IPOB? Because it's, they are military people? Because they are military. You want to paint IPOB? That is IPOB that is doing it. Is ESN that is doing it. What has ESN got to do with that? That is not our footprint. That is not our stamp. That is not our identity. We know how ESN operates. When they take on the terrorists, we know how they pray. When they captured one of the greatest terrorists, one of the tough terrorists in the Benue State, did you see such thing? When they caught the terrorists, the great terrorists we have in Benue State, when the ESN caught him, while Mazin Nangano was without, the announcement was made. The announcement was made. Did you see anybody behaving? Nobody did that. Then why do you think all of a sudden the ESN will come and behead people, naked the woman, they get the man and put their head on their body and take a picture and post. What do they tend to achieve? What, what do you think? Do you think that ESN are dumb people? You see that people in ESN are dumb? What do you think they tend to achieve? What do you think they tend to achieve? Are yet to wake up from your slumber or your sleep and get the point that we are exiting Nigeria. Exiting Nigeria is not going to come from the platter of Godi plate. You have to sacrifice for it. And we are ready to sacrifice everything, including you. If you come and stand in the way of freedom. So, you need to know how serious we are. We are damn serious. Some of you are not getting it. You think we are here to, to, make, to build political movement? We are here for freedom. Freedom come with price. Okay? The only thing you can do is to comment on social media. Don't ever stand on the way of Biafra freedom. We crush you. Their interest is suppressed. Biafra is the key. Once they can hold Biafra down, they can hold all of Africa down. <laughs> hey, freedom fighting, sorry. Because all these people are criminals. They are saying there is no way this man cannot be a criminal like themselves. They don't have a different breed altogether. They don't know that. I am a Namde Kano. I don't do all this nonsense you do. My father was a very rich man. Not ostentatious. I had the finest education that his money could afford. We are not poor. Have never been. That is why a poor man cannot be a freedom fighter. 
If you're not full of yourself, you cannot be a freedom fighter. <laughs> go everywhere. We must continue.